And when have you most felt frustrated, Brandon, with your auditions? Um, I felt most frustrated when I had readers that just weren't taking it seriously or would start doing funny voices during a take or um, they would uh, they would change up like certain things. So there would be a really long pause and then it'd be really fast. And then it would, it was just, there was no consistency to it. They were just, right. they were just screwing around and having fun, which right. is fine. But like, this is, this is a dream of mine. This is something I'm working at. And like, this is a job. And the stakes are huge too. Yeah. One audition can change your life. That can change not only your life, the life of your family members and friends around you. Um, so it's huge. But then you got to ask yourself, well, why would they take it seriously? It's not their thing. You know what I mean? They're not, if you're using a friend, a neighbor, someone who isn't a trained actor or a trained casting professional and someone who hasn't worked in the industry and doesn't know how to break down a script and break down a scene, um, isn't able to, yeah, of course it's not about the reader, but if you listen or watch a uh, tape and the reader is also an actor and there's some chemistry and there's some pace to it versus listening to your grandpa labor through it while he's wheezing. <laughs> um, no offense to grandpas out there. I love grandpas. But if your grandpa is not a trained TV and pro film professional, then why are you thinking that working with him is going to be the ticket to uh, to your best audition ever? Um, yeah, so that's that's great. Work work with professionals is really the, the lesson there. And a lot of that uh, frustration will go 